dog man's going to work outside the window. I don't know if you can see him. I'm just holding this over my head. I'll pull it this way. There we go. I don't know, but that's I'm trying. Hey, Corley. I guess with the green stuff up there, it doesn't slide. <laughs> We're well protected. We have our watchdogs on duty. Ah! All right. Ah! 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 Oh, goodness ah! sakes. Oh, for heaven's ah! sakes. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Ah! Yeah, we had, um, we had thunderstorms in the wee hours of the morning, which was kind of cool to see the thunderstorms through the, the fan thing in the ceiling is clear. We have one over the bed. So I was laying in bed watching it, but the Pharaoh was crying a lot. So Pete got up with Pharaoh. Pete can get naps during the day too if he wants to, so which he probably he has been taking a nap during the day. Um yeah, but Pharaoh was crying a lot this morning, so Pete got up with him. He seems to be good to so far today. Pete just fed them, and he seems to be okay. <laughs> I forgot about that. I was going to make myself a cup of tea. And um, <laughs> I see Pete pulling squashes and tomatoes and cabbage out of the microwave. <laughs> a multi-purpose thing. Yeah, it is. <laughs> we forget, forgot about all that from last night. So, um, yeah, it, it was big thunderstorms, but as you can see, now it's sunny and bright. Humid. The hu is it humid? It's supposed yeah. to be in the 90s today. Ooh. And humid, so I'm so glad we have air conditioning. Last night when we went to bed, the breaker popped on the air conditioning. I'm not sure if it was our breaker or Gwen's breaker. But some breaker popped. I don't know why, because the air conditioning was not set. It was set on low, so I don't know what the why. And nothing else was on at the same time. Just the nature of the beast, I guess. So um, we are going to. I've already had five calls by 9:20. This hot weather. Everybody gets bugged. <laughs> so I will see you guys later. Bye. Pharaoh was just coughing again. He's been coughing almost nonstop since Monday night, meaning when he's not sleeping. When he's not coughing, he's sleeping or crashed out. So we got an appointment this afternoon with my sister's vet, maybe another pair of eyes. I wish we could take him to his usual vet because she's wonderful. But something's different, and I want to see if they can help this awful cough. Uh because he's not really bloating up that much. I mean, his harness is still loose, and we purposely don't alter the size of the harness so that we know we use that to judge how big or small his chest is. Anyway, so Curly is obviously fine. Curly is always fine. Hi, guys. Um, we are at Rick's house. He's out in the middle of the country. It's gorgeous out here. It's where on the patio, but look at there. It's really nice. It's quiet. Or it was quiet until a plane just went over. This girl dog is laying here next to me. She says, you're talking dog talk. You're probably hoping to come over here and have dinner. <laughs> <laughs> well, I figured it'd have to be cooked. All right, but I'm, you know, I could have been a little more prepared. No, we were running late anyway. I was just vlogging here, so adding my vlog. There's his pretty girl dog. Where is she? There she is. She's a pretty girl. So it was real quiet here until about a minute ago when a big plane flew over, just as I was telling Pete it's so quiet out here. It's nice. Yeah, it is nice out here. I like it. So... Anyway, just checking in. See you guys later. Bye.
Hi guys, it's about 10.30 on Wednesday the 2nd. Uh, we just got back a little bit ago from Rick's house where we had the most delicious meal. He barbecued some pork steaks that had the most, oh, wonderful seasoning. Wasn't that great seasoning? Mm -hmm. That was very good. That was amazing seasoning. And then we had peas and carrots. Um, and sourdough bread. And we took a lemon cake. And he had chips, too. So, it was a really, really nice evening. And his son was there. He was going into seventh grade this year. And the last time we saw James was, he said he was seven. So, it's been a while. It's been a few years. But then he looked like a little boy. Now he looks like a young man. Such a change in a few years. He's very polite. Very nice. Very fun to talk to, too. So... And, of course, his dog, Luna, she's adorable. Anyway, so we're home. We had Pharaoh at the vet today. I say we, I mean Pete. Pharaoh has been coughing nearly nonstop since Monday night. Yesterday, he would have episodes of it. But today, he just coughed continuously whenever he was up. He was coughing and choking. And he... His harness was really loose, so he wasn't ha didn't have a bunch of fluid. Um, but just that constant cough. So we called my sister's vet, who's just a couple miles away, and um, Pete took took him there today, and they did another chest X-ray. A couple of them, actually, a couple of views, and um, he recorded her describing what the chest X-ray showed on his phone so that I could see it. The chest x-ray looks good in some respects. It doesn't look like there's nearly as much fluid in the lungs. But his heart is so enlarged that it's pressing on his trachea. And that's why he's choking all the time because he can't get, you know, can't get air easily. So she sent, she changed his meds a little bit, increased his heart med. And said that she would get him something for cough, but apparently she forgot because it wasn't on the bill or anything. So I'll call her tomorrow about that. But um, she described his condition as fragile, which is the same word that Dr. Bartlett used up in West Branch. Uh, she did try to call Dr. Bartlett, too, to talk about Pharaoh. But um, they, the clinic had closed at 3.30, and that's what time Pharaoh's appointment was. So right now he's sleeping and he is resting and he's not coughing, thank God, because it's heartbreaking to have him coughing constantly like that. It kills me to see it. I had 69 calls. So I was able to catch up on some comments anyway, not all of them, but some, because it's been insanely hot and insanely busy with yellow jackets and the phones are just crazy all day. And of course, after work, I'm doing other stuff, but... I usually watch my videos during work, but I'll, I'll tomorrow hopefully will slow down. I'll be able to watch some videos because I miss you guys really bad. I really miss my friends. So. I can upload yesterday's vlog tonight. It wouldn't upload today for some reason. So I'm going to try and get it uploaded tonight. Um, and then tonight's vlog I'll upload tomorrow while I'm working. That's the plan. Oh, I can't wait to see your vlogs tomorrow. It's really different in a motorhome. I just do not have the time. Everything takes longer. Everything is different, and it takes longer. And um, I just wanted to tell you, too, that uh, because of bandwidth issues, I want to watch more vlogs on my phone, but that means not leaving lengthy commentaries for your comments. Because I'm using the little on-screen thing that's where the keys are about a quarter the size of my fat fingers. So I, I, you know, I want to let you know, you know, whatever, and encourage you and applaud you and uh, whatever. And I can't do it as well as I'd like to on the phone. But I get five gigabytes free on my phone, so I want to use those for vlogs because we pay for the other internet a rather high price if we 
Did I say this before? I don't even know. But I'll say it again. If you've heard it before, stop me. If, um, if we paid the same price that we pay for the inter mobile internet, if we paid that same price at home, we'd be paying $2,300 a month. That's how much internet we use at home. Obviously, we can't do that here. So, um, my YouTube videos, and I'm using like the, even on my computer, I'm using like the mobile versions of Facebook, and um, and I'm not spending much time there at all, because, again, my time's been limited. I'd rather spend it on YouTube than Facebook, because Facebook is another a topic for another day. Um, so I'm going to use my five free gigs on my so that I can keep up with you guys, and uh, but my comments will be short of necessity. Or maybe I could watch them on here and do the comments because they shouldn't take up much much bandwidth. Whew, that's another good idea. I gotta go to bed, huh? I thought of it. You thought of it? <laughs> Glad I thought of it. Yeah. <laughs> So, I just, I got to go to bed. I'm so tired. I'm saying stupid. So, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Take care. God bless and good night.